All right, TBT gang, what's going on? Diamonds Philippe here. So this is an intro, it's an intro. We are giving away a merch pack this week. So Sean is actually gonna be doing a segment of his top 10 under 10K in this week's video. So what you have to do is pick one of your favorite watches and comment down below. And we're gonna pick someone at random just to send you a merch pack. So please make sure to subscribe and comment what your favorite watch is. What's up, TBT gang? Happy Wednesday. It's the day of our drop, so we're really excited to put this episode out. Tons of trades. We saw Yash do some cool trades. John Lucas sold some APs, a lot of other cool stuff happening. Also, it is Art Basel weekend here in Miami, so if you're around, please make sure to come check us out. You can DM us, anyone from the sales team. All of our Instagrams are down below, and feel free to make an appointment. We are working late. We're here for all your last minute needs, so please feel free to reach out. Also, wanted to transition into talk about gold prices. So last week, we saw gold somewhere hover around the 1740 range. This week it's around the 1750 range. So it's really cool to see gold actually kind of stabilize because over the past couple of months, it has been swinging up and down pretty drastically. And in the gold world, even just a couple of dollars change makes a huge difference. So it's actually pretty nice to see gold stabilize. It makes it also easier to work. So that's the gold update for the week. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in our office for Basel weekend. Yes, perfect, bro. Like in you. Yeah, it looks like in you. I think it's like September or something, right? The yeah, day? Yeah. So we're here with uh, Wilson. We did a trade that finally concluded. We got him this beautiful RM6501 titanium. And uh, we did a trade for this RM6701 titanium, which he gave to us. And this RM11 uh, black and orange. before the storm. But like you don't even know I'm gonna call you on this. Matches the whip too, right? No. No? <laughs> yeah, they can though. <laughs> we just got this watch in on trade. RM11, 30 pieces in the world, America's edition. Orange themes, orange is a super hot color, guys, and it's at a crazy price. 190 for them, Yash? Yeah. 190, complete, 30 in the world. How's everything going? It's been a little bit since I've checked in with you guys. I actually had a rough last week. I ended up getting COVID and I was MIA from the office for a little bit. So getting back into the swing of things and happy to touch base with you guys. I actually wanted to do something a little bit fun this morning and answer a question that is very, very, very prominently asked on our YouTube as well as our Instagram and just customers all over ask us this question all the time. So I'm gonna tap in and answer the question of what are your top 10 favorite watch picks under 10K? So oftentimes people will reach out to us in our DMs or on YouTube or on one of our social media platforms and they'll say, hey, you know, I really wanna get my first watch. I wanna get into watch collecting. What would you suggest top 10 under 10K? So I'm gonna answer that today. Now, before I do that, I will preface this by saying this is not the best way to maximize your money or the deepest value or the best options you know, if you were to scale them across every single watch under 10K, this is my personal opinion on the top 10 watches under 10K. These are 10 watches that I would wear myself. Some of them I actually have and enjoy. And overall, I think that this is a very safe way to get into watch collecting. And there's a lot of reputable brands and nice pieces in here that I'd love to talk to you guys about. So jumping right into things, I'm going to start with a piece that has been popular for many, many years and you've seen it on a lot of wrists 
that is going to be the Cartier Santos. Now this watch with the blue dial is absolutely beautiful to me. It's sporty, it's also dressy. You can really do anything with it. I love the shade of blue on this dial. It's always been one of my favorite watches with the blue dial. I love how it fades from the lighter blue to the center to the darker blue on the outside. It's also a watch that's very versatile. So this is a watch that you can wear with a strap, you can wear on a bracelet. You really can't go wrong price point wise. They trade right around retail price, which I believe is $6,900. Um, at the store and it's a great way to get into the watch world now you're not gonna hit a home home run with this guy you're not gonna make a ton of money you're not going to you know have this incredible investment that goes crazy but it is a great way to get into the watchmaking world it's a great watch from a reputable brand and it's a watch that everyone will notice and enjoy and I think it will definitely help you guys so starting off like I said the WSSA 0030 Cartier Santos that's the reference number We'll pop up a picture here on the screen so you guys can check it out. And moving right along the list, we have another watch that I really enjoy myself. I've actually been trying to pick one up for a while now. I'm um, just trying to find that right deal for it. To be honest with you, you really can't go wrong around this price point, but it is going to be the Zenith Chronomaster Sport. It is a Daytona homage in my opinion. Very similar to the Rolex Daytona look for this watch. If you guys can take a look at it here on the screen, you'll notice it features that famous three sub dials as well as the beautiful, beautiful chrono pushers. To me, these chrono pushers are really reminiscent of something like a split second or a paddock complication. Overall, a very well-made watch, very beautiful. Just like the Cartier Santos, don't expect it a huge home run and make a ton of money on it overall but it is a beautiful watch. It will get you into the watchmaking world. Zenith is a great brand that produces really cool pieces. This one happens to be my favorite. We will pop up a picture here again so you guys can check it out and we will link you to the watch so you can take a look at it. It is something we could definitely be happy to get for you if you guys are looking for one. Same thing with the Cartier and it is going to be my top 10. Moving right along, we have another watch that I actually own myself that's very special to me and something that I think that if you are looking into getting your first watch and you do have a little bit of a stronger budget towards the upper echelon of that $10,000 range, it's definitely something you can consider. And that is going to be the Rolex 16700 Swiss only GMT Master. Now, if you look at this watch, you're gonna be thinking, wow, that looks like a normal GMT Master 2. There is a few things about this watch that do make it a little bit different than the, than the GMT Master 2. You will notice on the bottom of the dial, it says GMT Master rather than GMT Master 2. It is going to be a watch that is a little bit more complicated to set, being that it is a GMT Master. Now you have to imagine back in the day, in the late 90s, early 2000s, when this watch was being sold, this watch in particular was only sold in Switzerland. How it went was at the store, there would be a 16700 and a 16710. You had to be a little bit more of a watch collector. You wanted to have saved a little bit of money getting the non quick set GMT version of the GMT Master. It's a little bit of a different watch, not many out there, really cool piece, beautifully built. I, like I said, have one myself. It's incredibly durable. It will last a lifetime. It's something that you can pass down to a son or daughter and let them enjoy for many, many years. And it's at that great $10,000 price point. Like I said, upper echelon, but if you're gonna go all the way, this is a way that I would suggest you guys to go. Amazing watch. Next up is actually the watch that I am wearing. So believe it or not, this is a G-Shock. I actually picked this guy up probably six or seven months ago now this is not a watch that i personally wear every day it doesn't necessarily go super well with my lifestyle although you can really do anything with the g-shock i wear this more for traveling if i'm going to be going somewhere where i don't want to be wearing a quite expensive watch um, i throw this guy on now g-shock has been around for a while now it's a very durable and well-known brand they make amazing quality watches this is not going to be your conventional you know swiss watch automatic um, you know, very high quality movement and very well made watch uh, as far as interior goes. But overall, it's a very great watch. It gets the job done. It's extremely inexpensive. This happens to be the John Mayer um, edition of the G-Shock. It's one of my favorites. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it. I picked it up. Can't go wrong for a few hundred bucks. And literally this thing is bulletproof. I don't know if you guys remember like Razer phones back in the day. Um, I, I'm not sure how old many of you guys are watching this, but Razer phones were indestructible. This reminds me of the Razer phone of the watch world. You can literally do anything with it and you'll be completely fine. And if anything goes wrong, you take it right off. You hand it over to someone if you're traveling or you're somewhere that's not extremely safe and you go about your day for a few hundred bucks. 
Overall, really beautiful watch, goes with everything, can't go wrong with it, definitely check out G-Shock. If not this one, check out their extensive, extensive collection of watches. Next up is a watch that I personally really enjoy. Now, there is many variations of this watch that I'm about to talk to you guys about, but this one happens to be my favorite. It is a little bit of a newer watch, um, and it is reminiscent of many other watches that you will have seen before. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the Grand Seiko. Now, in my humble opinion, Grand Seiko is one of the most well-made watch brands in the world. They have top tier watchmaking, beautiful quality. They do not get the same respect as many other Swiss watchmakers, but in my opinion, they are on par with Swiss watchmaking. They make amazing quality watches. My favorite happens to be this SLGA009 edition, which is going to be a white birch dial. In my opinion, it's very reminiscent of a meteorite dial from Rolex. I think it's very classy, goes with literally anything, amazing high quality watch. You're going to be under that $10,000 mark. And this is a watch that you can pick up at the store. You do not have to call a secondary market dealer unless you did want to pick one up from your favorite secondary market dealer, but really beautiful watch all the way around. We'll pop up a picture here. Once again, you guys can take a look at it. Let me know what you think down below. I think it's an absolute stunner. I think that the watch brand overall is really great. I myself have been trying to pick up a Grand Seiko for a little bit now. Haven't got around to it, but I'm definitely gonna be throwing one into the collection soon. Next up is a all time classic, and that is going to be the Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch. Now this watch overall can't go wrong with it. It's absolutely stunning. Black dial, amazing bezel, three uh, circle chronos down below, amazing chrono pushers, very beautiful watch. I myself am not the biggest Omega advocate um, overall. However, if I was going to buy an Omega, this definitely be the one that I would want to buy. Absolutely stunning. I think that when anyone sees an Omega, they know, hey, that's an Omega. I think it's a great bridge into the watchmaking world. And I think that definitely this piece, if you're going to buy one from Omega, is one of the best options that you can go with. You can pick these guys up at a great price. Um, they're actually very prominent in the watchmaking world as far as people having them in inventory or accessible or even the store. So definitely don't be afraid to go pick one up. We'll pop up a picture here on the screen. This is my favorite variation, but there's a few others. Um, but this one I think is the most classic and you really can't go wrong with it. Moving right along into another watch that I actually have myself, but a different variation. Um, this is the Rolex Explorer. So the Rolex Explorer 16570, my personal preference is the polar white. However, I do have the cream patina dial that I love wearing. Big price difference in the two, so if you are going to be picking up a polar, don't expect to be able to get a cream for even near the price of a polar. However, the Polar Explorer is something you can pick up in like the high sevens, mid $8,000 range. Amazing, well-made Rolex extremely durable you can this watch is essentially bulletproof you can literally do anything with it absolutely stunning and classic it will hold its value for years to come very well made and it does get you into that rolex world for under ten thousand dollars don't be afraid guys to move away from i would say like the very well-known sports models like the hulk or the batman or the pepsi there is a lot of other cool watches that rolex makes um, the Explorer being one of them, although you know it is a very sporty watch, I would say it's more of a utility style watch. Um, you can literally do anything in it, and it is a great buy if you guys want to pick up your first Rolex. Next up is a watch that I've talked about on this channel many, many times. It is probably in my overall top 10 favorite watches of all time. It's a watch I have myself as well, and it's a watch that I think a lot of people should be looking into, and a, a watch that I think is worth a lot more than what they're charging for it. So that is going to be the Tudor Black Bay Bronze. So this is an amazing quality watch, full bronze watch, 39 millimeter from Tudor. As you guys know, Tudor is a subsidiary of Rolex, very similar watchmaking, very similar watches. This happens to be my favorite. This watch with the brown dial, the bronze, over time gets that patina on it and those scratches and marks. And Overall, just one of my favorite watches of all time. It's definitely one that I think should be a lot more expensive. I will tell you that if any other brand made a watch like this, um, it'd be extremely more expensive, probably triple or quadruple the price at least. You have seen this from other brands where they've made bronze watches that are a lot more expensive. A brand that uses bronze movements that is actually extremely expensive, as an example, would be F.P. Journe. Although this is a bronze watch, not a bronze movement, 
definitely something that you guys should consider. This is a very interesting material. The patina on it is beautiful over time. And it's a watch you can pick up around 5,000, 5,500, unless you're lucky enough to be outside of the US and have access to a Tudor boutique where they are sold. Um, you will have to be paying secondary market prices for this piece. It is very desirable. Definitely one I think you guys should consider. Next up is actually a watch that is gonna be a little bit more polarizing and it's gonna be a little trifecta here. So we'll throw up three of them on the screen here, but it's a watch that I think if you are a guy that wears a suit or a little bit more dressy style, I think you guys should definitely consider it. It's an extremely well-made brand and that's going to be a JLC Monoface Reverso. So this is going to be a Reverso, but it's not going to have a secondary face on the back. It's going to have a mono face. It's a beautiful dress watch. They come in amazing colors. I think it's very fun to throw maybe a dress watch into your collection. I would say this isn't necessarily the best all around uh, watch if you're going to get only one. This might be for the guy that has two or three other watches and wants to throw a dress watch into the mix. However, the colors are beautiful. The watches are extremely well made. The price point is great. I mean, you're talking under $10,000 for an amazing dress watch. And I think that they're just great overall. They have amazing heritage within the watchmaking community and a definitely a watch you guys should consider. Now, wrapping up this list, we have a little bit of a newer watch that recently came to light and I think you guys have seen it before, but it's based off of, in my opinion, one of the most classic and iconic Rolexes of all time, which is going to be the Steve McQueen. So we'll pop up a picture here of the Steve McQueen. Now this guy is definitely not gonna be under 10,000. However, this is going to be the Tudor Black Bay Pro, which we will pop up a picture of side by side here so you guys can compare them. This guy is definitely gonna be under 10,000. You're gonna be around the 4,000 to 4,500 dollar mark. For this guy, absolutely stunning of a watch. Very reminiscent, like I said, of the Steve McQueen. Very beautiful, iconic look. Very, very good value for this watch. I mean, anything under 5,000 from Tudor, in my opinion, is gonna be a really great pickup just because they are so similar to Rolex and they have that really nice watchmaking feel and overall, you know, feel when you're wearing it and you really can't go wrong with this watch. Gonna be wearing it for years to come. I myself am definitely gonna be picking up one of these guys as soon as I get the chance. Um, I do have quite a few watches on my list and I picked up a lot of watches this year so i'm definitely going to be waiting to throw this guy in there but i will be throwing it in in the near future hopefully um, but overall these are my top 10 picks from the top 10 under 10k category for watches like i said these are mine my personal preferences don't uh you know be upset if your favorite watch under 10k is not on there this is what i personally think but definitely watches that i think everyone should check out and consider let me know what you guys think down below about this top 10. Let me know if you have one from the top 10 or if you plan to pick one up from this top 10 list. And thank you guys so much. And hopefully we'll get back to you soon with something interesting from the office. Make sure they watch the video with Neil when it comes out on our channel. It's Valencia Brothers. Yeah, you let us drive the Ferrari. 48 spider. That's sick. Yeah, so shout out to him. I'm looking at this AP right now. He said it was going for around 37, I'm pretty sure. And I'm looking to trade in this Rolex that I bought from him probably about a month ago for 14.5. They offered me 11.5. So I'm thinking about it. And right now we're just looking for a watch for my girl. So for this, we're not full of uh, stock right now. We have a few APs. Uh, Rolex, we only have uh, the platinum that I showed you before, 36 millimeters. Mm. Um, but if you want like a like a nice, like a easier Rolex, you can definitely like just look it, look up like what you prefer. Send me a picture, and I can look for you. Because yeah, these are just APs. We have a couple of like these aftermarket uh, Rolexes, but we have like plenty of uh, of stock. Something mm. maybe. How 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 big would you like the the dial? Probably around that size or like really? that. Yeah. You want to try this on? I don't like the black face. <laughs> Wait, would you like like white? Yeah. Yeah. But this is nice. You can actually find something similar. This is very cheap, probably like around 10k or less. And you can match the AP that if you get if you get it. <laughs> yeah. Do you like your ones? No. Is it too big for you? Yeah, it's too big for me. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, if you want a white dial, we can look for a white dial. Hey, it's up to you, whatever you like. The, yeah. This one is probably the best one out of those for me. Oh, the, 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 ah, sorry. the black dial would, uh, would match. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to check us out, we're on uh, TikTok and YouTube. It's Talia and Gustavo. Check us out. Yeah, thank you. I actually follow you on Instagram and on TikTok too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> oh, it's clean. Mm. That's a bit well like but Yeah, we can do it. 12, yeah. 8, 37. Alright. Yeah. yeah, let's do this. Isn't her AP? <laughs> And be straight. And just so you know, this one we don't have the papers with it, okay? okay. We obviously guarantee 100% authenticity and everything. We just don't have the actual papers for this. Okay, thank you. Is it harder to sell uh, without the papers? Or? No, I mean, like, without the papers, obviously it's cheaper than uh, than with papers. Uh, okay. Therefore, it's like yeah. easier to sell than it's, you know, oh, okay. it's the same thing, like uh, the value. We Some people don't really care. Yeah. Got it, okay. And like a lot of models don't carry the warranty, so the yeah. papers are like irrelevant. Oh, okay, okay. For a lot of yeah, so if you really think about it, like the papers are just like a warranty. So like one, once the warranty expires, the paper technically are useless. Oh, okay, gotcha. But people like them because they, they makes me, it makes them feel like safer in terms of like authenticity and so on. But okay. you can always go to like a watchmaker. Yeah. You can open the watch, check the movement, and tell you that it's true. So okay, it's got it. Went from his 14k Rolex yeah. to almost 40k. <laughs> Neil made me do it, man. He's like, you gotta come to the shop since I helped you film. No. <laughs> what those APs used to go for before they came down? For example, that one used to go for closer to like 80, right, Ritz? Oh, it's a 15400. 15400. Uh, yeah, it was like 75 over oh, right there. They took a dip, but yeah. it's definitely worth it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Since they sent it to me, I never even fixed the time or date on it. It's just, it's just yeah. the way it looks. Do you have any watch on that? Uh, no, no watch he, right he has a limited edition G-Shock. <laughs> hey, something, something. Yeah, they're down. Bro, that watch was 75,000. Mm. That's crazy. Could go back up to you, know? Yeah, I remember. Is it right there? <laughs> How much is that? Super light. Uh, 320. <laughs> Super light, like literally. You know what I mean? Steve has this. That's my little brother's watch, actually. Dude, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 okay, next upgrade is Aaron. Yeah, next upgrade. <laughs> my two years. Oh, one year, bro. One year. Yeah. Yeah. A couple months. A couple months. Yeah. I'm trying. Like we're right trying. now, right now the presses are down for that too, and there are some really nice pieces, like closer to like an under for example. These are the big pieces that we have right now. Alright guys, I'll check it out. Alright, take it. This is the one that Neil's have. Mm. This is like the version before. This is like 3501, 3502, and 3503. Mm. Basically, the only difference this, between this, this and this is that this is like the case. The case back is closed. Mm. While well, this is see through. Like the one Neil has. And also. This one also comes in black, just like that one. Mm. So we don't know the prices. Which one would you take? Let me see. Which one? I would which one? Yeah. Which one is like more attractive to you without knowing the price? Yeah. To me, I would either take. I would either take the, this. One of these two. I would either take this one or this black one right here. I like those two. Which one do you want? On me. Let me see. All right, bet. Are you ready? You said it. <laughs> Me to be honest, I think I'm gonna go. I like this one here. This is crazy. Oh yeah, I like that one. Mom and Dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most expensive one here. Yeah. I think it's probably this one, which uh -huh. is also like a new model, 3503. Uh -huh. uh, similar to the the one that Neil's have. Got it. Okay. But a little like updated. Also, um, like a lot of these watches are made for athletes. Oh, okay. And this one especially. Has this like extra function in the back? So this is like the rose, right? Oh, wow, yeah. That would uh, use uh, works normally, but for example, this is called the Nadal, uh -huh. and it's uh, like a tennis player, right? Okay. So you're gonna ha gonna have like a lot of tension on the on the yeah, wrist yeah. and like a lot of movement. So when you do activity, you press this button, mm -hmm. which is called sport mode. Oh wow! 
That's crazy. And the, the rotor just changes and like it rotates less. That's like a, le a less movement. Got it. So like it protects a little bit the oh. movement of the watch. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty neat right there. there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like very, very big. Yeah. He has a million dollars? Two million. Two million? <laughs> 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 That's limited to it. Yeah. So, what I think about RM is like almost every piece is like unique. Yeah, How many of those did they make? 18. Wow. When did you guys get this in? We got that actually like a while ago, then we sold it to, to a crypto guy. Oh, okay. He sold it back to us uh, after a few months, and now we just sold it again to someone. Oh, okay, nice. Everything, how you been? Everything's amazing. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Three years always. Oh, the socks. Bro, how did you know that? Did how did you know that I needed blue socks today, bro? <laughs> bro, it's crazy. How socks are like half my company now. With the private wage and more. <laughs> I like the blue a lot. Did yeah, you no, change the, the lettering? No, I actually kept it. Well, actually, once I did embroider on uh, those crew logos. But uh, outside of one pair, it's always been like that exact style. And I'm just going to do different colors and you yeah. know. Yeah. This is how you're already putting them on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you knew I needed blue, blue today. So tell me about the watch roll. What ended up happening? So yeah, uh, you know, watches and cars both my passions, and I was trying to figure a way to, you know, what can I do to be, you know, in those worlds. And you know, my Porsche Vita material I've been using, right? Yeah. So like the card holders, wallets, all that. We're doing really well, and I was like, why not do them for for watch cases? So. Like See how she came out? Yeah. So these are. So wait, so you, you made 30. You made they 30. sold out, and there's still orders for more of them. Yeah, on the website, you know, it's probably about two to three weeks for a week. And yeah, one's for you, and one uh, one's going off to a client actually right after this. So uh, I want you to check them out. Did most of them sell locally or? No, globally actually. Holy yeah. Shipped to Germany so far. Oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. What? Feels nice, right? Bro, it feels like you're in a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like you're in like a, a Neo vintage Porsche. So yeah, so that Pepita material first started in Porsche is up like 1960s. Is all guitar inside? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? And it's a lot of like Easter eggs in there too. You'll see there's like pink stitching underneath the cushions. They keep with the theme. Oh, I like I like that you uh you put it down here instead of up top. Oh no, oh, well, the take care of people, yeah. Well, if you look, there's a take care of people on the bottom part. No, that I like. I like that down here. Yeah. Rather than the, because a lot of people would intrinsically put the brand here, right? Gotcha. And then up here they would put a slogan, but you did it the other true, way, true, true. which is yeah, like yeah. the way that I think you should actually do it. Yeah, I think it came out super clean. And even cooler too. Is oh, bro, that pink stitching is sick. That's so sick, and it's so smart that you did the dividers too. Yeah, and uh, it fits for most wrists around like seven inches. It's it's a great size. Try something fun there. That's crazy. It even fits an RM. Yeah. Um, most of the the leather ones they don't have um, the dividers inside, and then on top of that, they just get beat up on the outside. Like the leather gets destroyed. Mm -hmm. But this material is really, like I said, forgiving. Super it's durable. Really nice. Yeah. You have to do a box, bro. Yep. You have to do a box. Did you see the ones that we make? Uh, I've never seen, I've wanted to see them in person. You should take a I look. I have wanted to see them. This, this with your materials would be like insane, bro. We could even do yeah, we could like- maybe like a collaboration. Yes, yeah, bro, that would be insane. You know? That would be absolutely insane. So how does this open? Oh, so down here. pinch the sides. Oh, got it. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so I added the contrast of the black suede in between the cushions on that one. And that one like mirrors, I think, like a green on tan, like 911. This is beautiful. This is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, that, that's gonna, a bestseller. Can you do pink? We do any color. I did I did a couple of pink uh, samples. Um, it was a little too much for me. It was but loud, I can, yeah. I can, but I can do whatever. I know that's why I added Dude, the, the pink. The quality on this is actually absurd. Like it's it's actually ridiculous. Yeah, Yo, you're, Vertic, look at this. Come look yeah. at this. I'm right now. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Bro, the car guys. Out. You That's showed this to Gabe. Like the Carrera, right? Exactly. Yeah. You showed the this to Gabe for you guys, so you can check it out. All that. Cool. What's up? You showed this to Gabe. He ordered four. <laughs> I mean, I, and, what? Yeah, and 
he said I'm cool waiting a little bit because I, I had another client in California that needed four. So, <laughs> so he, he gave his allocation basically to another client. No mine. way. Yeah. So. I like honestly I like the chocolate a lot. The black is very classy, but this is nice. This is really really nice. Yeah. For the for the cars, mm -hmm. did they do any other like obviously this stitching? Yeah. Did you they like do patterns. a different colorway? So yeah. So they did. Look, look at that setup. Look at those two together. Blue orange. Keeping up with like the man, like I know you said it's a little bit back up right now, so like yeah, that's um, not gonna be hard, right? It's 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 working out perfectly because I'm gonna have more later this week. It came out last week, and we're we're looking good. That's so that's yeah, yeah. So next step from here is next step boxes, boxes single watch rolls, correct. maybe a winder, maybe a winder for 23, and uh, and different color could be this. And it's funny, I was gonna release it about four months four months ago and it wasn't correct and you it was a hard pill to swallow, but I was like, you know, when the time's right it'll be right and it's definitely right, bro. You yeah, killed it. it. You absolutely killed it. It's freaking crazy, bro. Yeah, and that's your personal one, so bro, I'm <laughs> sure everyone's gonna be very excited. People are probably gonna be fighting over this at the office to use it. Absolutely insane. No, this is going to change the game for traveling. Though. I mean, it's, it's different. It's something you don't see every day. Like I said, I have a ton of watch rolls. I don't use them. Like, I have even Richard Meal ones that are like really, really nice, but bro, they fall apart, they break, they're not good quality. They get beat up. This is like really nice quality. This one's been through a lot, so. Actually, not that specific one, but <laughs> but the testing has been through a lot, so. Bro, I can only imagine. I mean, you're, you're meticulous for how you use something. So tell everyone, how do you pick this up? How do you uh, how do you get on, I guess, the list now <laughs> yeah. in order to get them? Yeah, so. A, a little bit of back order from, from everyone loving it, which is which is amazing news, but it sounds like you're pumping them out pretty quick. Yeah, so you can follow us on, on Instagram, at Proof Designs, and purchase uh, with, on the wait list, uh, essentially, on our website, www.proofdesigns.com. You have, it's something you you obviously see and like if you know cars you know that the quality of the materials here like Alcantara interior ridiculous the outside is absolutely beautiful but if you know cars you know how good these materials are and on a watch case like I don't know I don't I don't think anyone's ever experienced this before like it's it's crazy absolutely crazy I'm so, I'm honestly surprised bro I think you should order more like already <laughs> I, I think those 150 you're gonna fly dude like this is ridiculous it's actually insane. But those, those singles, I'm telling you, if you get those singles, like, yeah, like everyone's gonna have a huge use for them. Really? Singles are, bro, like, I don't know, these are great, but singles go crazy. Like people, every single day we give away like four or five or six singles. Like that's, really? Yeah, at least people come, they need it, they're traveling, they come back. Mm -hmm. It's, it's perfect for storage. This is great for like home, travel, multiple watch collection, domestically, like good to go. But I'm telling you bro, that's gonna be a real game changer. And you can go crazy with like designs and, and, and setups for that colorways. Yeah. It'll be really sick. I'm gonna put aside a couple of uh, couple singles for you once they come out. Bro, that'd be sick. We'll, we'll, we'll buy a bunch. Bro. We'll buy a bunch. I'm telling you like for a, a high end customer, especially one that likes cars, like, yeah. That's game over, bro. Yeah, we did friend. a monogram or whatever inside too. Okay, we're flying up under oh, that would be cool. I, I want to look at this. I want to look at how we can do this together because that would be. Let's talk about it. That would be ridiculous. All the leather ones, you put them immediately in your bag, and they scratch against the zipper. They scratch against your other stuff. Yeah, th this is always gonna look new, which is super always gonna look brand new. Obviously, the sides will get somewhere, but that's kind of cool. That's like yeah, yeah, a cool part Little of patinas. that. Patinas. Yeah, what's your guys say? Little patina. <laughs> and even watch guys. Yeah, this, I mean, bro, even like the sound of when it opens. Like, it sounds, cause I was gonna do Everything a, lines up perfectly. I was gonna do a buckle, but I like the snaps. It feels no like, way. okay, like my way watch, is, my watch is like really And look, scared. it's in your bag. Yeah, it's, it, you no matter what hits against it, it's not opening. I mean, bro, you you did a really good job with this. I appreciate it. I'm even if like, this. even if you dropped your watches in this, I don't think that it would get damaged. No, there's a lot of cushioning. You really killed it, bro. Congratulations. It really is sick, bro. You absolutely knocked it out of the park. You should feel really good about it. It means a lot. Now, I started this in November of last year, so it means a lot. This Dude, moment. that's insane. So, a year. One year. So. You guys have got to go check this out. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is not me just saying this. I'm telling you right now. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous for a watch roll. I've touched and felt and used so many of them. I haven't even used this yet, and I already know that it's gonna be the best one I've ever used. Just based on how much thought and care went into it and the materials, it's ridiculous. Check it out. Let us know what you guys think. Pop up the website here and go buy one because they're they're badass and they're gonna keep your watches safe. Only a TPT. <laughs>
I love it. Sure. And that's yours, the black suede. Thank you, bro. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do have any constructive criticism, as always, drop it down below and see you guys next week.